Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and I'm so sorry I haven't been posting pictures of late because of some circumstances so I'll be posting more videos now, uh, yeah. Also, I'm, I live in Russia so they, we don't have much Tottenham fans here. I guess we have some Tottenham fans but I just don't know where they are or where I can find them. So yeah, I hope you understand but I'll be posting more videos and it's fun doing this by myself. I mean, with, with you people around like sharing my views with you guys is kind of more interesting and fun to me i mean it's really interesting to talk about football with you guys and for everyone who have, who have subscribed 19 people so far subscribed to this channel i'm really 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 uh, grateful for you guys and uh, i hope going forward we can have more subscribers and we can talk more about football not just about tottenham but just about everything basically about football we can talk about together so let's get into today's video now okay but before i talk about other things i want first to talk about the way we are playing at the moment against stronger opponents chelsea and manchester city so far joseph picked those tactics because he realized that if we just go full blast against chelsea don't get me wrong chelsea is a good side i'm not i, I don't think they're a superior side i just think they're a good side but you can't you can't attack chelsea they are young hungry uh, players at Chelsea. They're just there. They, everyone wants to prove a point. Every Chelsea player wants to prove a point. They're all young. They're just trying to make it out there. They're not trying to be like flops of the season. They're all trying to be something. So you can't attack such kind of a team because they will come on you so hard and they'll score you. So us being defensive was the only way we can come up with a point at, at, at Stamford Bridge, given our history is very bad at that. So we wait for them to come to us, then we can play whichever way we want to play. Of course, we'll be defensive because they're a stronger team, but we'll be more attacking-minded a little bit. Not like the way we played so negative yesterday. I watched the game. There was nothing for Chelsea. That shot, the shot by Mount and the shot by Ori were the only like threatening shots. And then basically nothing. And I thought Gio would have scored the last one. I don't know what he was thinking, but we understand it's a, uh, we took a draw, we can take it. We don't, we don't care. So, yeah. And against Manchester City, it was the same thing. You cannot just go at Manchester City. You can't attack them. You can't play positive football with Manchester City. You have to try and get points. Either a point or three points. You have to sacrifice one. You have to either lose, get a point or win. If you attack them, you lose. If you sit down and just play football, comfortable, organized, defensively, you can win or you can get a draw. So against big teams, we're going to see such kind of play by Jose because that's, that's the way he is. He understands winning does not always mean winning games. Sometimes winning means draws, but not to lose. That point is very, very important because it counts. That point really, really counts. That, so, yeah. Going forward against stronger teams, stronger opponents, we are going to play the same way we played against Manchester City and against Chelsea. Now we are, we are facing Arsenal. I do not believe we are going to be defensive-minded. We'll be defensive, yeah, a little bit, but against Arsenal, I think we are going to go, uh, I mean, just go. We are going to give them everything we have in our, uh, in our own Arsenal. But we know that they are number 40 and they are technically terrible this season. I mean, that's been terrible for I don't know, five years. But nevertheless, the, the formation will be the same. I'm comfortable with getting draws in games that... Because I, for one, was scared of Chelsea. Chelsea was the only team I was actually scared of. I was scared facing Chelsea. Because of the reason I just explained. They are hungry. They want to prove a point. They are young guys who just want to prove a point. If you attack them, they can hate you. They can hate you on a count anywhere. They can just hate you. Chelsea can hate you. I was scared of Chelsea more than I was scared for Liverpool and Manchester City. And yeah, like I said in my previous video, I'm seeing a lot of draws and loses. I mean, draws and wins. I know Jose Mourinho. I know how you operate. You'd rather pick a draw and not a lose. I mean, that's, that's the way it is. So anyway, I'm happy we're second week on top of the league and it's good for us Tottenham fans. I mean, that doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. But it's happening. So the second thing I want to talk about, I watched a video on YouTube of some guy from Chelsea. I don't remember his name. He was giving his reasons why Chelsea, why Tottenham cannot win the league this season. And it was really funny for me listening to him. I watched the entire video and it was kind of disturbing. Probably his name will pop up here. Yeah. 
kind of disturbing given that he's a Chelsea fan and he was just criticizing the manager who made them who they are today. Chelsea were useless until Mourinho came. They're technically Mourinho babies. They, he made them who they are now. I don't understand the hate, but I understand him because, I mean, now Mourinho is, is Tottenham and there's, you know, the rival is there and they don't, I mean, we don't like each other with Chelsea, but I hate some Chelsea fans, some of them are cool, but I hate Arsenal fans with all oh my heart. I'm so sorry, Arsenal fans. I just don't like you people. But I want you to subscribe to my channel so I can grow it up together. But anyway, it is what it is. It's just football. Um, he gave some points. He talked about history, how Tottenham are bottlers, how Tottenham can't win the league. We don't have the, the material to win the league. He talked so many things about the history. That was terrible. It was really bad to watch. But anyway... Despite saying all those things, he forgot one piece of that history. That history is Tottenham's history. But there's another guy who just came to Tottenham with a different history. So we have two people. We have Jose Mourinho and we have Tottenham. Two different histories behind these two topics, subjects, whatever, whatever you can call them. They have the history of losing. We have the history of losing. This guy has a history of winning. So two history mixing together, it's what we have right now at Tottenham. You cannot just talk about Tottenham and you're leaving out Jose Mourinho. It's just not right. He is your ma he's our manager now and he's got a history of, he's a proven winner, he's a serial winner, he proved it. He won everything, he has won everything. He came to us and we might not have a very good history in terms of titles, silverware, but this guy has. So. I don't know what you're talking about. I know if you can talk about Tottenham with another coach who has never won anything, I would understand. But for now, it would be just so stupid for me to just start saying that Tottenham can't win anything by the end of the season or they can't win the league. That is just absurd. And just wait until the end of the season and see what will happen. Because maybe, maybe the new guy that just came in with a different history can actually win something for us. I mean, I don't want to win this over way out of this. Anyway. Yeah, so he talked about Jose Mourinho, relationship with players. If you are a Chelsea fan and you really, 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 really follow Chelsea, you find out that players, some of the players, players like Fabregas, I don't know the other player, gave an interview. The one who said that they cried when Jose left. They loved the man. People like Lampard, people like John Terry, they loved the man. They lo every Chelsea player loved Jose Mourinho. And Fabregas said it better, we let him down. If you watch that interview, we let him down because they won the league and then they sacked him in the second season. They, they, yeah, yeah, the second season because you, he didn't start well. But if the, the players had something else to say after that. They said they let him down. It's, it has nothing to do with Jose Mourinho's relationship with the players at Chelsea. What happened at Manchester United was just at Manchester United because... If you talk about Ndombele, right? Ndombele had a problem with Jose Mourinho. Yes, we accept, but he knew his place. Ndombele knew his place. He humbled himself and look at what he's doing right now. He's far much better than Pop Pogba. Pogba didn't listen. What's happening to him? We can't see him. He's gone. Jesus, he's, he's gone. So I'm happy with my, my coach because he's handling situations really, really well. What's happening to Dele Alli is the same thing that happened to Ndombele. Now we're going to see how mature Dele Alli is. If he's willing to learn or he's just another Pop Pogba. But that thing that you're saying that Jose Mourinho is having a bad relationship with players. I mean, yeah, if you coach boys, you are going to always have problems. But if you coach men, that's why Joe Hart came in. That's why Roy came in. That's why we have Hugo Lloris in the team. We have Aldevero. We have Har uh, We have. Hurricane, we have a lot of leadership quality in the team. They all believe in the, the philosophy of Jose Mourinho. They are, they are doing everything. They believe in it. They are like brainwashed. And it's so beautiful to watch for me as a Spans. I mean, as a Tottenham fan, it gives me that... Okay, <laughs> I'll just put the weight here. Yeah. It makes me feel so good looking at the players giving everything they have. Players like Ori, they are never, they are now, they are not the same anymore. They are playing the intensity in the game. It's really, really interesting to watch. So yeah, also if you don't understand my accent, I don't know. I mean, I, like I said, I live in Russia plus some African in me, so it's kind of complicated. But anyway, 
That's it. You can't say that about the man with a different history and the man who, gave, who made you who you are today. The Champions League chose one. It was the same team. It was just the same team of Jose Mourinho that won that, 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 that. Maybe a few players came in, but I don't, I don't know. But most of them, it's just the same thing. It's just the same thing. He gave you those players. He gave you the best Chelsea. Yeah. <sighs> I hate talking about other teams like this. Like, like, I mean, I love talking about other teams, but not like arguments. I like to talk about unpopular opinions. But yeah, that was his opinion and I like it. I like that he opened up and he said what he, he had to say. But I hope you could see this video because I saw his video probably. He's going to maybe agree with me. I don't know, but I hope you can see this video and maybe we can come to an argument. So yeah. Back again, talking about What's happening in the team right now? Yesterday's game against Chelsea, talk, just to briefly talk about it, I learned so much from yesterday's game. I learned that my team was learned to be this and this. Yeah, I said it. They're now believing and that is making us fans so, I mean, feel so good about um, our team. As we're watching it, sometimes we know that they are playing negative football. We're not there in the stadium to watch it. We're watching at home. But we believe that this guy is going to bring us a trophy and that is putting us Tottenham fans together and like Arsenal fans who are really really <laughs> anyway now for the Arsenal fans I really feel bad for you guys you lost yesterday to Wolves oh and big up to MNS yesterday I hate this nothing fine now I mean he had a successful surgery I was really scared I was watching that game I was really scared when I saw that but I'm really very happy he's doing fine. I mean, 2020 is just this shit. Anyway, this is a short video today. No, long video, actually. I just wanted to just talk briefly about what I just talked about. <laughs> yeah, so I'll post more videos now. I'll be posting three videos in a week. And you guys, you can just tell me what you want me to talk about. And we can talk about it together. And if you want to join me, I will be doing some Zoom calls sometimes. You can just let me know. You can just take, write down your comment. Then I can like, email you and we can talk more about it. Yeah. Let's make this channel more fun. Let's, let's just enjoy supporting football together. So, as always, subscribe to this channel. Like the video. Share this channel. Share the video, I don't know, with, with your friends, your family. And yeah. Thanks for watching and see you in the next bit. Bye. And come on, you space. Come on, you space.